It's funny because I thought I was going to be a football player, bro. But this is at the point where I was about to go to college and um, this cat on my football team, Alvin Tony, brought Eric B to the crib and was like, yo, this is Eric B. He looking for an MC. And, you know, me being a little arrogant dude, I'm sitting there looking at Eric B like, I'm like, yo, Al, man, I'm about to go to college to play football, man. What you bringing this dude over? I told you don't be bringing nobody to the crib, man. But um, he's like, yo, he know Magic and Molly Mall and you know what I mean? So I was like, all right. And I had a tape that I made. So when I went to college and MC started beefing, I can just put my tape in. I was at the point where I ain't, you know, I ain't going to rhyme. If somebody start beefing, I'm just going to put my tape in. You know what I mean? So I let Eric B hear that tape. And, um, you know, he was like, yo, man, listen, I know Magic and Marley. You know, we can go make a record, such and such. And at that time, I wasn't really, you know, 100% on making a record. Because I've, I've been rapping for so long at that time, you know, I kind of wanted to play football, man. So I told Eric, you know, I didn't really, really want to do it. So he was like, yo, we can do it where you don't have to sign a contract. That's why if you ever seen the first uh, record, it was Eric B featuring Rakim you know, feature where you don't have to sign no contract. I was just a featured artist. But, you know, um, I stopped growing, and the record did good. So, you know, maybe it's good that Eric B. knocked at the door, you know what I mean?